Oh my god. The Virtual Boy. Yeah, that monstrosity of a gaming console from the 90s that Nintendo thought was a virtual reality console. Well, spoiler alert, it wasn't. Look at this thing. It's a literal red nightmare. Who thought it was a good idea to create a gaming system that looks like something out of a sci-fi horror movie? Hell, even the commercials for the Virtual Boy make it look more of a monster than people say it is. He had the moves. The punches. The fire. But there was one thing he would never have. A way out. Virtual Boy presents more challenges inside the third dimension. Mario Tennis, Tunnel Boxer, Red Alarm, Galactic Pinball. Virtual Boy, a 3D game for a 3D world. Wanna play? And let's talk about the gameplay. It's supposed to be this revolutionary virtual reality experience, but all it gives you is a headache and sore eyes. Who wants to play games in glaring red and black? If you want virtual reality, the Oculus Rift exists, you know. And don't even get me started on the library of games. With 22 titles, the Virtual Boy was a graveyard of failed experiments. Even the so-called classics like Mario Tennis and Virtual Boy Wario Land couldn't save this monstrosity. In conclusion, the Virtual Boy was a colossal failure in every sense of the word. It was a misguided attempt at innovation that ended up being nothing more than a cautionary tale for future generations of gamers. Now, I'm going to play Beat Saber on my Oculus Rift. At least that's a virtual reality game that doesn't cause a headache.